When you play Mahjong, do you find that you play the same hands over and over again? That's no fun. Spread your wings. Play throughout the card. One way that you can practice if you have a set at home is doing something I call Charleston Force. I have strips for every category on the card and we're going to pick three and force hands in those specific categories. That way you can practice playing throughout the card. And also, if you play in tournaments, there are prizes for the first hand in every category of the card a lot of times. This is a great way to practice winning a prize. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Charleston Force. So I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. We're going to go ahead and pick those three categories and make it happen. Like numbers, wins and dragons, consecutive run. We'll just say we're the dealer. So I'm gonna get 14 tiles. And then I'll create a mock Charleston. Well, I'd say this is a pretty good start for Winds and Dragons with nines. North and south with nines. This would be a 30 point hand, fifth one down. And we have these tiles we can pass. So let's mix it up. I treat white dragons like flowers, so try not to pass those. They're pretty valuable because they're, they have a dual purpose. They're used as a zero and they're used as a dragon. And they're used in the biggest hand on the card. So I also try not to pass any year tiles with that. This, though, that's a terrible pass. I would not pass that. I'd break it up. Let's break it up a little bit and pass these three. If you get a joker in the Charleston, just exchange it. We got a nine and a dragon. Now, we do have like numbers here. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. I highly recommend that you not do that. I think I would break that up and pass these three. Okay, like numbers again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. We gotta break that up. This is gonna be a horrible pass, but we're pretty well set for this 30 point hand. I'd risk it. Okay, we got a flower. I wouldn't pass that. We could pass one of each suit just fine. We had one really risky pass in there. Okay, we've got, oh, we picked up a north. Nice. Oh, look at, we're set for those. All we need is a nine cracker, a nine bam in there. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, no. Oh, trouble. We got trouble. We got big trouble because I'm not passing a pair. So we either need to break this up or pass a flower. Oh, you know what? We're on last right. Let's pass blind. We'll pass one blind. Okay, we've got tiles to pass. Optional cross. Okay, not bad. We have four discards. This is awesome, actually. Um, I would probably discard in this order. Get rid of the flower first, then the two one. I try to get rid of the year tiles right away to sabotage anybody playing the big year hand. So I would play north and south with nines. Winds and dragons. We're one nine away from being set on this hand. 
Winds and Dragons, 30 point in hand. That went well, I think. If you would have done something differently for that one, write it in the comment section. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is what we're working with here. <clears throat> like numbers in consecutive run. Like numbers in consecutive run. We do have f flowers. Now, for consecutive run, there are two hands that uses flowers. One of them requires a dragon. The other uses three consecutive numbers. Now, the three consecutive number options, we've got one suit and we've got mixed suits. We could do a mixed suit with three consecutive numbers. We could even use the five maybe. So let's hold consecutive. We could even switch to like numbers with twos. And that gives us tiles we can pass. So we're in between like numbers and consecutive run. We got sixes. I think I would hold those. Oh, look at we got a one. That's our first multiple. I would keep it. I'm thinking consecutive run. One, two. One, two. One, two with flowers. The concealed one. Let's go ahead and keep the sixes and pass these three. Okay, we've got threes, eight, nine. So we, we're in between still like numbers and consecutive run. One, two, I think, I think I would give up the three. There's a little risk there with the three, six, nine, but the, I think the six would have been equally as risky. Okay, we got a two. One, two, consecutive. One, two. I think we could go ahead and pass. Let's do an even and an odd. Even, odd. They're consecutive. This is kind of a risky pass, but I think the three would be just as risky if we passed the three because they could do little odds or three, six, nine or odds. So I think it's six, one, half dozen the other. I'd pass these three. Okay, if you get a joker, just exchange it. We got a white dragon, one, two dragon. We could hold the one. If we're playing consecutive with one, two, three even, I would hold that. We have two tiles we can pass. I think I would definitely keep the dragon. It's a valuable tile. So I, I try to not pass white dragons. I treat it like a flower. You know what I was thinking? We could play a year hand. But we're, for, we're forcing here. So don't get distracted. You want to win a prize, right? Or push yourself out of your comfort zone. We're going to pass that. Because we want to try to force consecutive run or like numbers. So I think we should hold the ones and the two. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Okay, so we got a five north and a west. I think... Uh, one, two with dragons. Third hand down is probably strongest. I think that I would probably break this up a little bit and pass a one, five west. Okay, we've got a four, five, six. Four, five, six, mixed suit. I think either way, the risk will be the same. Let's pass these three and see what we get here. If we can draw in something. I don't think so, but let's finish it up. Okay, so we've got tiles to pass. Four discards. I think really five discards, but we have, well, no, really six. Yeah, six discards. That was kind of rough, uh, but I would hold all these tiles. I would not I would not pick a hand yet. Um, I think that we're probably strongest to consecutive run here. 
and four discards and then I would not pick a hand yet because we could do one two one two if we get a one bam we could do the concealed hand with flowers or we could do one two with dragons so I would not pick a hand yet I would keep it keep it fluid consecutive run if you would have done something differently there write it in the comment section and we're going to make like numbers work this time Okay, here we go. Not a joker in sight. Don't need them. They're nice to have, but you don't need them. We can make something work. Make something from nothing. Okay, like numbers. We have a multiple right here. Ones, ones with dragons. Ones with dragons. I would hold the nines because we could maybe hold the ones for joker bait if we get nines. Same for sixes. Let's just hold ones, nines, and sixes. And we even have a great pass here. Evens, odds, mixed suit. Like numbers is what we're going to make work here. Okay, so we got a two, three east. Those will, will not help us. Let's pass East 3-8. That's a really great pass. Even odd with a wind. Oh my goodness, pair of sevens. Pair of sevens. I think I would go ahead and split one of these up. If, oh, oh, there. That's another great pass. Even odd mixed suits. Okay, now we've got another multiple here with sixes. And we have tiles we could, oh, well, look at, we got a one. Ones, sixes. I think I would break up the seven because we're in between sixes and ones. Let's pass these three. One. We have seven two west. That's a great pass. We've got two more passes here. I think I'd like to hold a little joker bait. Let's go ahead and pass these three. We got a keeper. And we have tiles we can pass. That's a little risky. Keeping that joker bait hurt me a little bit. So there's an example of when you should probably break up a pair. So now we're going to have to risk passing two wins together. And with news on the table this year, that's a little bit risky. But I think it's better than passing like numbers. It's probably equally risky, but I think I would do it. So now we have tiles we can pass. We're focused on like numbers. I would not, I would hold all these because we could play ones with dragons and the pair of flowers, or we could play ones uh, with, yeah, there's two dragon. There are three, we could play all three of those like number hands. I think I would hold the white dragon and pass these three. Okay, we got the sixes back. Four discards. Really, probably five discards. I think we're probably closest to maybe the like numbers with dragons. The concealed one, it's higher points too. Um, we could potentially play like numbers with the green dragon, the first hand. I wouldn't pick a hand though. I would stay flexible and then see how it comes in and play like numbers with dragons, probably the concealed one. 30 point hand, four discards. Like numbers. 
that would that might even be a winner right there if you would have done any of that differently write it in the comment section I think sixes were probably strong too but I think the ones came in just fine you can make a lot of these work if you just force it force it into being give it a try yourself if you have a set at home if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing click the bell when you do that way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table may all your picks be keepers